Good morning to all the viewers and tuners. My name is Dozom Lambo and uh, I'm reporting for Edbook. We are here at the Mnet Magic Center in Randburg and we'll be meeting one of the contestants who got eliminated from the Bachelor SA Season 2, Tegan, right? That's right. How are you this morning? I'm okay. I've been better. Um, I'm a little disappointed, but, you know, I'll survive. Survive. That's great. That's great. That's a positive attitude. Positive attitude. Um, uh, my first, I have a couple of questions for you to, uh, this morning. Uh, the first one is, uh, how, what was the feeling um, when you first met Mark? I was so nervous when I first met Mark that I almost forgot all the feelings I had. But he was nervous and he was friendly, so it kind of put me at ease. So he relaxed you, he put you at ease and you were, you were okay with the, the whole moment and everything that was happening? Yeah, he's definitely, he's one of those people that does just put you at ease. Um, he, he's a human after all. So it, that, that helps a lot, you know, because you're like, oh, I'm going to meet this guy and what's going to happen? And he's just kind of there and he's like, you know, we're having a conversation. Yeah. It was exactly the same. Wow. Seems like it was a nice experience. And uh, second question, how did you feel when he handed over a rose to you? I was ecstatic. I really was. Um, standing there waiting to get a rose. I, I cannot actually describe to you the feeling. You're like, oh, please call my name, call my name. He's like, and it's, t and you're like, oh, maybe it's me. No. <laughs> you're like, oh, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. But when you eventually get that rose, you just the, the relief that washes over you yeah. is is quite something. Something else. It's absolutely something else. And then with uh, the one on one session you had with him, what was your your, your first impression? Um, I thought we had like a lot in common, and we had a good conversation. It wasn't, you know, that's awkward conversation. Like, oh, what am I going to say? And yeah. so I actually thought we had a great flow. And you enjoyed it? I did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, it always too short. I think in that type of situation, it's always going to be too short, yeah. and you've got to try and, blah, 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 try and get everything out as quickly as possible. But uh, what we did have, I enjoyed. You enjoyed it. That's a good thing that you enjoyed it. And then uh, personally, as an individual, what uh, did you take from the, the whole experience of being part of the Bachelor SA? I think you learn sort of how to deal with a lot of different personalities and you, you have to come out of your shell a little bit. But uh, I just took positive vibes, really. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I just had oh, a heap and heap of fun. Oh, well, that's great. That's great. And then uh, now that you are eliminated, what are, you, what are your plans? What are you looking forward to doing now? So as most people would probably know, Thanks to my entrance, I'm a runner. So now I'm really going to focus on my running. Um, we've got the comrades coming up, um, and that's sort of the be all and end all of running in South Africa. So I'm going to focus on that. But other than that, I want to start, or well, I'm in the process of starting my own fitness clothing range. Um, so that's, I've got that. And then I've also got to make a bit of money. So I'm still doing my coaching, and I'm a tennis coach. Yes. And yeah, so busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy. I definitely support the, the comrade one because. I myself, I used to, I used to run, so I actually enjoy taking part. I've ran uh, the the longest distance I've ran was uh, ten kilometers, but then I didn't, I couldn't qualify for the first comrade that I attended because uh, of my knee. I had an injured knee. Do you still have an injured knee? No, I don't. Okay, so no more excuses. No more excuses. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I'm, so, I'll I'm be gonna joking. hold you to that. <laughs> All right, uh, last question. Uh, who are you hoping to see win the Bachelor essay? I'm hoping for love to win the Bachelor SA. I hope there's a real connection and that there's an engagement at the end of this and that there's a wedding soon. That would be, that for me, that is a win. Absolutely. That would be very, very exciting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've heard it from myself and Tegan. Don't forget to catch the Bachelor SA on Mnet 101 every Thursday at 7 p.m. For myself and Tegan, cheers.